Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cheese. Today, we're making chicken tikka masala. Let's get it. First things first, we're going to cut up some chicken thighs. Next, you want to cut them into bite-sized pieces. You can use chicken breasts or chicken thighs. I like thighs because they're more flavorful. After chopping them into bite-sized pieces, we're going to take them and put them in a bowl. To the chicken, we're going to add half the juice of a freshly squeezed lemon. About three tablespoons of garlic paste. Three tablespoons of ginger paste. About half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. Then we're going to add about two tablespoons of turmeric. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Some garam masala. Some cumin. Some smoked paprika, about a tablespoon of regular paprika, and some coriander seed, freshly ground. I use the coffee grinder to grind it up. And lastly, a little bit of salt. Then you're going to mix everything together. After making sure everything is well and nicely mixed together, you're going to cover it and put it in the fridge from anywhere from four hours or up to overnight. See y'all in a couple hours. Peace. Then we're gonna cut one onion. Next, we're gonna add in some ghee. After the ghee is nice and melted, we're gonna add our chicken that we had marinating. All right, when the chicken is just about done, we're gonna kill the heat and transfer it and keep the chicken over to the side. Next, over a high heat, we're gonna add some ghee. Once the ghee is nice and melted, we're gonna add some onions that we cut up earlier. We're gonna add a little bit more ghee. Once the onions are translucent and starting to caramelize, we're gonna add some garam masala, dark chili powder, Turmeric, smoked paprika, a little bit of MSG. For some heat, we're gonna add some cayenne red pepper. For some extra kick, you can add some crushed red peppers and some regular paprika, cumin, and lastly, some freshly ground coriander seed. Add a little bit more ghee. You're gonna let that cook for a couple minutes. Next, we're gonna add in some garlic paste and some ginger paste. After a couple seconds, we're gonna add some tomato puree. And then you're gonna rinse out the can with about a cup of water and add that. Then you're gonna let this cook over medium heat until the tomatoes I've cooked out the rawness. I'm gonna add one more cup of water and cover it up. Once the stew starts hollering back, you're gonna set the heat to medium low. And then if you have a blender, you would pour it in the blender and blend it. I have a handheld blender, so I'm just gonna blend that. Next, you're gonna add the chicken from earlier. I'm gonna cook it in the sauce until it's cooked all the way through. After about 15 to 20 minutes, on medium low heat, making sure you stir occasionally so the bottom doesn't burn. We're gonna add some fresh, roughly chopped cilantro. Put the heat on medium. And we're also gonna add in some heavy whipped cream. And then you're gonna salt to taste. I just need a little bit of more salt. Stir that around, and there you have it, chicken tikka masala. I'm gonna serve this over basmati rice. It's much time. Mm-hmm. We get some of the naan too.
that right there is most definitely Cheeto Licious. If you like the video, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.